Oh my god, you're here. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome to the family. If you're an old subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by again. It means a lot to me. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Other than that, no worries. I don't want to force people into liking and subscribing. I hate that. So today I'm going to talk about Skillshare, one of my favorite learning communities slash platforms that is totally different than other platforms that I've been learning on and having this experience with so make sure that you're staying with me up to the end of the video and I will talk about little tips and tricks that will help you along the way learning with a Skillshare and I will tell you how you can get a scholarship from Skillshare and study for absolutely no money for a year and I will tell you about pros and cons and how you can try it for free and everything literally everything about Skillshare so stay tuned Skillshare is an online learning platform or community. I like to use the word community because it's a real community. You can directly talk to your teacher and uh, other students. You can do projects and engage with other people about projects, talk to them or, you know, commenting. And people are so real in there. That's what I love about it. I love the vibe. First of all, it's so artistic. It's so... Uh, hipster it's like full of people who are energetic love to teach love to you know participate in creative projects and it's it's nothing like the old-fashioned learning system and I love this about a Skillshare Skillshare um, as I told you is a learning community it's not collaborating with universities, at least at the moment. It's been about five years that I'm learning on a Skillshare and I never saw any collaboration with other universities or like, you know, any departments or big companies, you know, it's really independent. At, like, it seems so to me. And if, if you do a search yourself, you will see they're not doing that at all. I mean, the whole system is not like that. They like to have real people on their platform. Real people are teaching real people. And this is something really unique um, that I really couldn't see on other platforms. And that's something that makes Skillshare stand out more than other ones. There are lots of YouTubers out there that are putting courses on a Skillshare. And first of all, so many of us love to see courses from people that we already trust, that we are familiar with, um, you know, the way of talking or dressing or teaching. And this is a bonus for them, both for the teacher and the Skillshare and also for the students, because we love to learn from people who we already know about. And, uh, you know, if you're going to anyways pay the money, you don't want to just throw it to a course that is from a stranger. But on Skillshare, first of all, you know, this is from someone you know. Second of all, this is money worthy because you can see a demo of this class that you're going to pick up. And then, you know, the guy or the girl who is teaching you. This is much better than other platforms like Alison or other platforms like this that I don't remember their names at the moment, but there are so many of these platforms that are dry. You don't get that hipster creative vibe to motivate you to make something, create something. And most of these uh, don't have projects along the way, which I'm going to explain in a minute. I'm so excited to talk about this one. Yes, Skillshare got scholarships and you can get it too. I got their scholarship, but actually I applied about two years ago and my scholarship ended last year, if I'm not wrong about the dates, but I think so. Since I didn't feel 2020 at all, I'm not sure about the dates, but I will clarify it in a minute. What I'm so excited about is that Skillshare is an amazing platform and it's offering you another amazing opportunity which is learning for free. And this is great for those of you who are living in developing countries or you are living a low budget life or you're not working or you're not making money. And now that we are living with this problem of COVID and everything is messed up and we really need to polish our old skills or learn new skills and you know be ready for a new age which i'm not going to really get into the details but we all know that we will get into in a smarter age and we really need to 
learn um, about these new skills that will help us both to live in a new way and make money mostly online so this one full year of a scholarship really changed uh, my attitude towards what I'm doing uh, in terms of my job of course and also it's a self-improvement process what you learn will shape your behavior your character and um, of course will help you with your job but um, you know what I'm talking about learning is a gem you can shape yourself into a new self with whatever you're learning whether it's illustrating doing photography or cooking or whatever just you will get a new image of yourself and your abilities and what you're capable of doing so without further ado i will jump into my computer and show you how i got this scholarship and how you can do it too okay now you need to open the skillshare website and what you're going to see is the home page for sure you need to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the website and you will see a few columns company community teaching and mobile apps which uh, the scholarships is located under the community column you need to click on that and a new page will pop up you will see two buttons and one of them is browse the scholarships the other one is fund a scholarship if you're a huge company or someone who can fund a scholarship you need to contact them and i'm not talking about it today today i'm going to talk about scholarships for people with financial issues you will click on browse the scholarships and you will be led to this page you will see available scholarships and past the scholarships this page would change from time to time and you definitely need to check for available scholarships every time you want to apply for one and you can see past the scholarships as well as you see there are mailchimp scholarship for small businesses and vsco scholarships for aspiring photographers but these are already passed and we cannot apply for them so we get back to the available scholarships you see a Skillshare student scholarships, which is 50% off of premium membership for students and people in college or schools. But the second one is the one that we're going to talk about today, Skillshare premium scholarships. And you see they say we donate premium scholarship memberships to those in need and you can apply for a one-year scholarship. Now you need to click on apply now and you're going to see this page. Here you can see the requirements for and this is specific scholarship. As you see, it says you must be over the age of 13. You must have an account on a Skillshare, obviously, and you need to be eligible for financial assistance. Here you can read application process and you see they say scholarships will be given out based on financial need and potential for making a creative impact on the world. And here it comes. You have two fields to write about this other than obviously your na first name and last name and your email address. They ask you two questions that you need to write about. The first one says, how do you plan to use what you learn on a Skillshare to make a creative impact on the world? And the second one asks you to describe your current financial situation. And there is uh, the honor code that you're going to accept that all your writing here is valid and true. The most important thing that I can give you advice on is that you need to be truthful, write the reality that is happening in your life at the moment. Like if you're facing financial issues due to COVID-19, just write it out there. If you already lost your job or if you're just graduated with no job, whatever the problem is, just explain it briefly and be honest about what you're writing. This is mainly about the financial situation box that you need to fill. And the first field that asks you uh, what impact you're gonna have on the world by passing the free courses on a Skillshare and I mean, getting the scholarship, you need to be creative with your sentences. You really need to show them that you want to motivate the world into learning something new. Like what I wrote for them personally was something that I really did. Like I told them that I want to empower women around me and I helped a lot of women and of course men but mostly women who were starting their businesses. Like I learned a lot of things about Instagram, about photography. 
about social media, marketing, everything. And I just passed this knowledge to other people. And that was my basic intention. And I was also creating content based off what I've learned on a Skillshare. And I could share this content on YouTube with other people. And I did. And I had an impact on mostly women, but people who were in need or did not know about these things or uh, did not know English to just learn about these things out there. Like they couldn't sign up in a Skillshare because they couldn't speak English. And that was my purpose. And I wrote that for them. And I think the main thing here is your intention. You need to show that you're going to change something. You're going to be positive. You're going to have positive impact on people around you in your life or people generally in the world. So this is something that you need to put time for and make sure that you proofread all the words and sentences and everything that you wrote and make sure there's no grammatical mistakes or typos or anything inconvenient so if you're honest and you're really asking for this financial assistance and you really need this and you're explaining the whole situation when they read that they can tell if you're lying or you're, if you're saying the truth and obviously your intention would make you stand out in the public because there are so many people who are applying for this scholarship and you need something to stand out from this crowd and obviously people who are spreading the word for Skillshare and talking about a Skillshare and leading other people to check their website, their content, or even if other people just hear the name from your mouth, this is advertisement and this is the positive impact. If you're just transferring the knowledge into new people, even if it's on YouTube, Instagram, or just in your daily conversations, that's what they're looking for. And I think you will be accepted if you just make sure what you write is true and honest and thoughtful. I can 100% and guarantee that you will be accepted. So I hope you apply for this and get accepted. As of March 2019, Skillshare has over 27,000 premium classes and more than 2,000 free classes available. I'm not sure about the exact number right now, but this is what I could find on the internet. Those free classes are for those people who do not feel like buying a premium membership, which is always free unless the teachers decide to change it to premium, uh, which I haven't seen such things um, all over these years. I mean, about five years that I'm studying there, but there are always possibilities. So I'm just explaining that to you. Another good thing thing about a Skillshare is that you can make money off of a Skillshare and I will totally put this for another video because there are lots of things that I can talk about on this topic but uh, there are two ways that you can make money on a Skillshare uh, just beside your learning process and um, I know there are so many people out there uh, even you watching right now might be capable of doing so many things if you're an artsy person you might you know build beautiful frames you might be a good cook you might be very skilled in water colors or you might be so good at something anyways I, I know that there are so many of you who have been working on the same field for years and years so why not teaching what you've learned along the way to other people first of all it's really beautiful to share what you've learned with other people you can help them improve their lives improve their income and Im totally improve who they are and how they are living just beside all of that you can share your experience or what you are good at and make money based on the minutes people are watching your classes and as I told you it's a deep thing to be discussed in a minute or two and I don't want this video to be that long so I'm just telling you about two ways that you're going to make money on a Skillshare which uh, the first one is referral you can send your referral link to your friends or people online if you have a platform if you're an influencer or if uh, your friends are eager to learn things online you can just send your link to them and if those people who just sent your link to them uh, come back and sign up with your link you will receive some money But uh, this is not something that you can rely on forever The best thing to do to make money off of a Skillshare in my opinion is to teach and If you just have a niche already if you're a photographer for example, you can 
just come up with new ideas just search on a skillshare see what is not there already what people are requesting if you go watch different courses and see the comments there's a section for you to review the class usually the teacher would say uh, the level of the class how much time you need to pass it um, and little things like that so you can uh, review the class and tell the community uh, if it's true or not if the teacher claims it's a beginner class what do you think was it a beginner class how was the presentation how was the visuals how was the whole class going on so you can just tell Skillshare whether it's true or not so obviously you can help the community to grow in a better way and the teacher would know if she or he could deliver their message through this course so if your class is performing well if you are gaining lots of students if so many people are enrolling in your class saving your classes downloading your videos giving like five stars uh, to your class and everything like that it might rank higher and uh, you will get a chance to be picked by Skillshare which will be like your course will be on top of the website and there's something that you should be aware of Skillshare is not just a community it's a website which has already more than 1 million students and you already got an audience there so if you're really good at something just go there check the courses get the hang of it learn how things are working there start recording your course and then start advertising for your course and gain more students I'm I'm not saying that you will make millions of dollars but it will definitely help you make a little bit of money maybe as a student you can use that money to learn more maybe as a teacher you can invest that money into gears and improve your quality so just go there check these things there are also other resources for teachers they i mean skillshare teaches you how to teach their workshops that you can attend online there are also courses provided by skillshare and other teachers on skillshare which you can learn how to teach online if, if you're so new to this and you have no idea how you should start then you can start with other courses which are teaching you how to work with your camera how to record a video and put it up so you can literally be guided by Skillshare itself then there's something that I will talk about in a minute there's another little thing that I love about Skillshare and I was lucky to be part of it too um, for new teachers who are putting new content or new courses uh, on Skillshare, there are like random prizes that will, they will pick random teachers beside their great support team that are really helping you along the way. I myself, um, while I was recording my first ever course online, I had a lot of trouble uploading and you know the whole process was confusing to me and I don't remember the names but there are so many girls that were emailing back to me as part of the team of course and they really put a lot of energy and time into helping you helping me and of course you to put your course online they really helped me a lot I'm so grateful for that I didn't have to wait for days to uh, receive an email to explain like something in two lines they were like explaining everything in details when I was asking them a question about how I can put it up how I can prepare my outline for the course and everything and then I was lucky enough to uh, win a $25 Amazon gift card um, as a new teacher because they have like monthly contests and prizes for um, new teachers so they will motivate you to put more classes online and show more of you to the world and help other people learn new skills and I really love this system it's not about the $25 gift card that I received from them but the, the feeling that you know they create is you know you feel they're supporting you in a great way no matter if it's the money or the support through the team or answering your emails you know you feel supported you feel precious and this is not something that I see a lot on other platforms I like it the way it's you know engaging and you feel like you have 
this connection from a human to another human Skillshare, if you're watching this, you're doing a huge thing Thank you so much Unfortunately, my battery died and I couldn't record the outro And now I'm recording this on the roof And that's why you're hearing a lot of noise And because I live in a capital city and that's pretty obvious um, so thank you so much if you're still watching this. It means that you're amazing. I hope you learned something today from this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!